So the first thing you need to do when you have popped the machine incorrectly, obviously, is switch the power on. The second thing you need to do is turn the three position key switch to number one. We will be referencing the machine, but first of all, we need to get the beam down, which is the problem that you have at the moment with it being up. Once the control has come to the ESA screen, we will press the blue reset button on the rear of the machine. So we now press reset on the foot pedal, motor start, and then we press manual on the screen. Now we're going to bring the beam down in the manual position by pressing the down pedal. If you hit it once and it doesn't move, hit it again and you'll find the beam will come down. When the beam is about 10 millimetres away from the bottom tool, we will then reference the Y1 and Y2 by pressing the up pedal. Okay, so we now press the up pedal and let go. And this will now reference Y1 and 2. We change back to key position 2, which is a normal running procedure, and we now go and reference X and R. Press reset now on the foot pedal, press the green, and the back gauge will go and reference on the X and the R, and maybe Z1, Z2 if you have that as well. Okay, you can see now that we have a blue dot in all the axes, which means all the axes are now calibrated. The next thing we need to do is the overrun traverse, which checks the speed of the top beam and talks to the Fisler in the control to see if it's happy with the speed it's running at. So we press semi-automatic and then we press run. Okay, so now we're going to do the over on Travis. You place your foot on the down pedal. The beam will come down and stop. And then automatically go back up. At no point must you release your foot off the pedal until it has done the final return. The machine is now calibrated and ready to run.